are here. How's it going? Well, perfect timing. You might be wondering, where the heck are we that we left our trailer and drove up in this? Well, my trailer has actually been right here for months now because this is my family's new off-grid property. <laughs> So I am so stoked to introduce you guys to this place. It's been an amazing year between building this truck, buying this trailer, selling the Dodge Mahal, and now we've got this off-grid property that we're building. Don't worry though, I'll still be doing full-time overland traveling for most of the year. This will just give me a fun off-the-grid place to hibernate for a couple months. So excited for the first episode. So I wanna take you around the property, just kinda of show you around, show you some of my mountain bike trails I've been building. I'll uh, show you where my trailer's set up, where my parents' trailer's set up, and just kind of give you a little lay of the land and an overall idea of what our plans are for the future of this place. So it's an 80-acre property, and um, we have a road going through pretty much all of it so far already. Um, so it was really nice that it kind of came with this road. This is 100% off-grid. No water, no well, no power, um, nothing. I've learned a lot about overlanding in the past few years, but this whole off-grid property stuff is totally new. That's gonna be a goal in the next few years, at least for myself, to have a little cabin up here, way up there on the hill. But um, for now, uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to bring my A-liner up here and for my parents to get a camper trailer. So they got a sweet 30-foot um, camper trailer and we brought it up here. We rented a Cummins. It was insane. Um, it was a lot harder than I thought. So I've got a lot of footage from that and I'm gonna do a whole separate video of how we got that trailer down here because it was pretty gnarly. But one thing, this is fun. So Coda girl, how you doing? Coda just came down from my parents' place, which I built a mountain bike trail. So you walk up through this way and there's a mountain bike trail. I call it the connect trail because it's connecting my parents' trailer to mine. But Coda just wanders between my place and my parents and it's really fun. She was just up at my parents and now she's come down to see me, right girl? Hey Bubbies, how you doing? Hey, how you doing girl? My parents' trailer's up there and that's kind of the top of the place, at least as far as roads are concerned. Yeah, Coda doesn't mind it up here either. <laughs> Coda, do you like to taste that stick? Is it some juniper? But yeah, the, the view from up here is even better. Oh yeah. Got the commander up here too. So there's the cliff up there. Last time we went hiking right up the cliff and we ended up getting right there. Hiking along, boo -boo, boo boo And then my mom was like, oh, we gotta go to the top. And then we were like, oh my gosh. And we went all the way to the top and we were like, oh my gosh, we're tired, but we gotta come all the way back. So we traversed over here. Another one of my favorite things to do at the property is mob the Can-Am side by side, side by side around. <laughs> Today we're cutting in a trail from the northwest corner of the property. From this point, it goes a quarter mile south and a half mile east. Yeah, collect our brush too. And so we can burn it later, just so that it doesn't get too out of control on the trail.
cut up. Line is cleared. Good to go. Even good enough for that four seater long wheelbase. Nice. Perfect fit. I think we I think we kind of got it down of what we need to cut. This is as far as we're gonna go today. And we got a view over here. <laughs> now this is a spot. Look. Whoa, holy cow. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Look at, look at, look at, there's a hill you can put a cabin there. right here. Look, it goes down, but then there's a hill over there. Yeah, so I I'm hard. pretty sure our property goes What's, down to this ridge. This yeah. But isn't this pretty right here? Yeah. This is super cool right here. And it's so nice to be able to just leave this thing all set up. I mean, I literally even have my griddle set up over here waiting. All I have to do is take this tarp off and I'm ready to cook. I've got extra water from last trip. And the trailer's even got 12 gallons of water and it's still, it's mostly on the side of a mountain, mostly not level ground, um, mostly rocky. And the nice thing is most rocks are like this. Like you, th you, you see, it looks like they're in the ground. No, they're just kind of like right on top of the ground. So anyways, it's really, um, it's kind of a benefit in a way as you're building stuff. So this is my little area here that I've claimed. And I actually want to move the trailer a little further and deeper into those trees. But since there are so many rocks around, as you can see, I did a little fire pit. There's a fire band, so we haven't had a fire in it yet. And this little kind of come, thing coming around here, stacked up some rocks over here and got a little wall going. So, yeah, really having fun just working with the, the rocks and and just trying to make the place look cooler. So 99% of the trees around here are these junipers. You can tell from these juniper berries. There's a lot of different kinds of juniper trees, so I want to learn more about that. I'm sure we've got at least like four or five different kinds of junipers on the property here. You gonna go pick berries? I'm gonna get some junipers for <laughs> juniper rub and gin. Nice. Yeah, that juniper, Joy's juniper rub? Yep. Joy's juniper gin. The juniper rub, super good. We had it on some chicken. We really had to um, work at it, but they're just popping off. It's popping off over here. We got the juniper. Oh, there. wow. They do right. just pop off. Yeah, last time. We had to really pick them. They're wow, ready now. Wow, now you just kind of. They're ready now. Yeah, they're ready. So the gin and the rub's going to be even better, huh? I hope so. Cool. <laughs> Next year, I want to build a tiny home little micro cabin maybe even a kit cabin that's under 200 square feet and I want to build it way up on that mountain up there um, and we're gonna be traveling full-time out of the rig soon and uh, we won't be in Arizona for a few months I might come back to Arizona for the winter uh, I would love to be here it's gonna snow here this is north enough in Arizona to where it is gonna snow here in the winter we'll see what happens when I get the flatbed and camper on and um, We'll leave things open. We don't like to plant things too much. The next episode is going to be just towing that trailer up here and all the carnage we went through. So stay tuned for these off-grid episodes. I'm super stoked. Comment below any tips you might have for the off-grid property or what you'd want to see here. Uh, mountain bike trails, hiking trails, obviously some Jeep trails. Um, it's going to be really fun. So I'm excited to have you along for the ride. Hit the like if you enjoyed it. Check below uh, if you're looking for any down to mob swag t-shirts and stuff. I just got that all set up to where right below the video you'll see the down to mob t-shirts and stickers and stuff like that. And check out down mob.com for any pack racks products and more products to come on the web store. Stoked for this year. 2020 has been awesome and uh, I'm stoked for the future of this property so the only question is are you down to mob off grid <laughs>